guys, Yvonne here. And in this quick video, I want to show you how to create a Google ads campaign. So let's get straight into it. The first thing you're going to do is type in ads.google.com and sign up for a Google ads account. If you don't have one already by just clicking here on start now. Once you enter some basic details, you might see a page that will look like this with an option to switch to expert mode at the bottom. So what you have to do is go ahead and click this option so that you will get the most amount of control over your campaigns. So we're going to click it. And for the purpose of this video, what we're going to do is create the standard and the most popular search campaign, which are ads that show up when somebody types something into the Google search bar. So we're going to go ahead and click website traffic. We're going to click search and we're going to enter our business website. In our case, we're going to be promoting my website, which is HTTPS www.ivanmana.com. Next, we're going to enter a name for this campaign. In our case, we'll name it Ivan Mana free guide because on my homepage, I am offering a free affiliate marketing guide. So we're going to go ahead and click on continue and the interface might look a little bit different for you because Google does always experiment and test different layouts. So you might see an agenda on the left hand side, which says everything that we're going to do. But the main thing to keep in mind is that if your interface does look a tiny bit different, don't worry too much because all the options will still be the same. It's just that the layout will be a little bit different. So we're going to go ahead and re-enter our campaign name here, Yvonne Mana Free Guide. Next here, we have the networks. So we're gonna deselect this option so we get the most relevant clicks. And this option here is optional. If you check this off, then your ads will only be shown on google.com. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down. If you select show more settings, you will be able to change options such as the start and end dates and the ad schedule. We're going to leave it like this for now. And we're going to scroll down again. Next, we're going to choose our location. If you want to set a specific location, you can click on this option here and type in the location, for example, America or United States. And you can click enter or click target if that's what you want to target. You can also exclude locations. Let's suppose you want to exclude New York State. No offense, New York State. I love you and your Statue of Liberty. So we're going to go ahead and type in New York here. Make sure it says either state or city, depending on what you want. Let's say we want to exclude the whole New York State. We're going to go ahead and click exclude. Now, one important thing we have to do is go ahead and click on location options and select this option over here so that we target people only living in this location. Because if we keep it at the default, which says recommended, yeah, recommended for Google, then our ads will be shown to people that are searching for United States, not necessarily people that live here. Next, we're going to scroll down again. So here we have languages. Keep in mind, this will not translate your ads. This simply shows your ads to people with a specific specific interface. So if our ads are English, we want to show our ads to English speakers. So the language here will select is English. So we're going to scroll down. The next thing here we have is budget. So you can set your budget from as little as $1 all the way to $6,199,999. Although if you can afford $6 million a day, then you probably already bought Google and you don't even have to run these ads. But if you're a complete beginner, I do suggest a budget of anywhere from 10 to $50 a day, just so you can get used to the platform first. Next, we have the bidding. So we're going to go ahead and select this option here, change bid strategy. We're going to select this option here, which does not recommend it for Google, not for you. So we're going to click here and we're going to select this option here, manual CPC. And what that will do is give you the most amount of control over your clicks and your keywords. Once you set up conversion tracking, you can go ahead and select maximize conversions. And I have a video showing you exactly how to do that. I'll add that in the description, but we're going to leave it like this for now. Under show more settings here, we can also leave everything as is. We can scroll down again. We can leave these ad extensions blank. What they do is help increase the click through rate for your ads, but they're not necessary to actually start your campaigns. If you want more detail about the extensions, I do go over them in very thorough detail in my complete Google ads course at evanmeta.com slash old courses. So we're just going to leave them blank for now and we'll click on save and continue. So this is where we will be able to add our keywords. So you can enter an ad group name, let's say free guide. And you can enter a bid, which is how much you're willing to pay per click. So let's suppose I'm willing to pay 50 cents per click. This will differ depending on what niche you're in. If you are, for example, in the law niche, you might be paying $100 plus per click. Next, we're going to enter keywords. If you want to do thorough keyword research, I do suggest using the keyword planner. And I have a video showing you exactly how to do that. Normally, you would see an option at the top here that says tools and keyword planner. I don't have it because of the different interface that Google gave me for this 
specific campaign. So what you can do is you can go ahead and enter your product or service here. In our case, for example, affiliate marketing guide, and we can click on get keywords. And now Google is going to give us some keyword ideas. Now there are different keyword match types. You have the broad match type, which is what this is without any quotation marks or square brackets. And this means that if anyone types something in remotely similar to any of these, our ads will show up. Next, we have the phrase match type. So if we put quotation marks around any of these keywords, if somebody types something in which includes any of these words here in any order, your ads will show up. And lastly, we have the exact match type, which we can activate by adding square brackets after and before each keyword. And what this means is that somebody has to pretty much type in your keyword exactly as you see here for your ads to show up. So we're going to leave our keywords like this. We're going to scroll down and click on save and continue. And now this is where we're going to create our ads. So from top to bottom, we're going to enter our URL once again which is HTTP www.ivanmana.com. And we can scroll down. You might have your headlines and descriptions pre-populated, but if not, what I'm going to go ahead and do is quickly fill them in. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the next step. One thing you do have to keep in mind is that you are not allowed to fully capitalize an entire word. So what we're going to do is delete that and type in free as title case instead. So what Google is now going to do is they're going to rotate these headlines and they're going to rotate these descriptions in the actual ad. And and this is what our ad will look like on mobile and on desktop. Now, if you want to pin any specific headline or description to a specific spot, you can use this pin option over here. So if, for example, I want the free affiliate marketing guide to always be in position number one, I'm going to go ahead and select that and say show only in position one. If I want to make learn how to make money online only in position two, I'm going to select this pin and set it to position two. And you can do the same thing for the descriptions as well. And that is it for the ads. So we're going to go ahead and click on save and continue. And now this is where you would normally review all your settings, including your budget, your bid, everything like that. Now you might sometimes see something like this, which says no traffic expected, check your settings to fix this. Keep in mind, this is just a suggestion based on the keywords and the bid that you set. So maybe our bid was too low. Maybe we don't have enough keywords, but that is totally fine. We can always change this after we actually create the campaign. So for now we can go ahead and click publish and continue and we can verify by clicking publish. We have the campaign right here. It is up and running. And if you click on ads, you will see your ads here. And congratulations, you have successfully created your campaign. If you want a more detailed video on how to create a Google ads campaign, you can click on my other video. I will put it right here in the middle, which will give you much more detail about how to create a Google ads campaign. And then of course, if you want to go over all the Google ads settings and become a Google ads master, you can take my Google ads training course at evonmana.com slash all dash courses. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.